You can tell we're in desperation position now where I'm in here doing this from the hotel room because we've got to talk about this right now. Hello, Emmett Ryan from Ball in Europe here. How are you all? And yeah, we are, we're back. Uh, we're in Manila in my hotel room. I was planning on editing another video before this about my getting here, which will go up in the next uh, day, hopefully. Uh, but we have a bit of an urgent matter to deal with, and that is, who are the world champions of basketball? Noah Lyles, who of course won the uh, men's sprint in Budapest, congratulations to him in athletics, kicked this off by going on about how players in US sports proclaim themselves as world champions, and a lot of NBA players didn't like that. So we're going to discuss this whole who are the world champions in basketball thing rather aptly at the World Cup, even if I can't control the lighting, I need the AC on so I don't drown, and frankly this is going to look terrible, so my apologies to everybody. But if you get a chance and you can tolerate me like this, uh, you know, if you can't tolerate me at my uh, doodliest, you can't tolerate me at my diddliest, I suppose, anyway, uh, please subscribe and uh, let's get to it. We've got three things to get through. Is one is why do NBA players even call themselves world champions, two is who should call themselves world champions, and three is what really matters, what really, really matters. So let's get to it. So why do NBA players call themselves world champions? Well, the simple answer is they are the best basketball team at a club level in the world. It's boring, it's simple, but it's also the cause of much debate because the bottom line is only teams from the USA and Canada play in it. Now, it's no question that the best players, and certainly the best of the best players, play in the NBA. So that's what we have here. But at the same time, and as someone pointed out online earlier, I've forgotten who it was, I think it was a Greek, it was definitely a Greek journalist, I've forgotten which one, my apologies. Um, what if Man City as Champions League winners proclaim themselves as world champions? And they will probably win the World Club Cup. Uh, the World Club Cup champions, even when they pronounce themselves as world champions, they kind of get, uh, would you go away? So soccer already has a kind of weird relationship with it, but the NBA is unique in that there's nowhere where it's so clear as to what the number one league out and out is, where it is essentially a domestic league. Um, I can't think of any sport that comes to mind outside of the United States, hilariously, where it's so clear cut. Uh, obviously there's a few in some sports where it's pretty much only in that uh, sport, but for example in Ireland, we, even though no doubt the best GAA team is the best GAA team in the world, because the other GAA teams around the world are not very good, but they're all Ireland champions, they're not called world champions. And the reason essentially is uh, history. Basically this goes all the way back, US sports teams have long pronounced themselves as world champions. And there's two reasons for that. One big one was marketing, like, you know, baseball, obviously, the World Series was the natural point with it. And for the other sports, um, well, you don't really get it actually with hockey, you just say Stanley Cup champions, because being the Stanley Cup champions is enough. With well, basketball and football, it just made sense. But the other was what the term national champions was associated with, and that was college ball. So saying national champion in the US, in that psyche, they assume you've won an NCAA or in football, college football uh, title and that's just what the term is associated with so saying you know you won a national championship in the NBA even if say you're somehow an NBA player who doesn't like the phrase world champion it's kind of weird so you might go NBA champion sure great but and actually more often than not they will say NBA champion than world champion likewise in the NFL they will say Super Bowl champion rather than world champion they're going to use world champion when it comes to sort of that generic -y term and so the reason is pretty simple, it's not from a place of malice in the slightest, it's just the way it always was, like those players weren't coming up thinking we're going to do this just to annoy the rest of the world, and also frankly they are acknowledging accurately that they are the best in the world. So that's the why, the why is not from a place of malice at all, it's history and practicality. These are two of the dumbest, simplest reasons possible. So let's get into whether they should or not. So, should they? Uh, this is interesting because, of course, I'm at the FIBA World Cup where the winners of this competition will be reclaimed world champions and to me that's the biggest argument against NBA teams doing it. It also, however, to me says where the World Cup still has to go in the standing of the sport for that to become the norm because, you know, if you win this you're a world champion, no question. But, at the same time, like, the Olympics is still the top tro trophy globally in international basketball. And I think for most of the nations here, uh, pretty much all of them aside from the Americas ones, I'm deliberately saying the whole of the Americas, like I think their continental tournament probably means more if they win that 
Um, well, no, no, that's actually totally wrong and scratch that entirely. I'm going to keep that in the video because it's a mistake I made, but one I should be called out on. All the European ones, really, because actually, yeah, if a team from Asia won the World Cup, that's a big deal. Africa, likewise. And Oceania, duh, obviously. So yeah, European teams. Winning Eurobasket is probably a bigger deal than winning the World Cup because at the moment, the way the cycles currently work, the European teams are more likely to have their absolute best players available for Eurobasket more than the World Cup because of the way that leads into the Olympics. But again, you got an Olympic champion, which again, you don't really say world champion for, but you've got a world champion if you win the World Cup. That's kind of a big deal. And this used to be called a world championship. World club champion for the NBA? That's where we get to the other one, because of course there is the FIBA Intercontinental Cup, which is not great. Um, for one, it used to just be the America's club champion, which did not include the NBA, versus the A champion of Europe, which we're going to get to in a second. Uh, now it includes more than that. Uh, there's G League team, G League champion, sorry. Uh, African and Asian teams also get into it as well. So we do at least have a proper world spread. But the problem, obviously, is that uh, we don't have the NBA in it. And also, if it wasn't just that, it would be bad. But we also, our champion of Europe isn't from the main competition in Europe, and that of course is EuroLeague, it's from the Basketball Champions League, which makes sense because that's the FIBA affiliated tournament, but you're immediately putting qualifiers on what should in theory be your world club champions. So that's an issue as well. So should the NBA get to call themselves world champions? I honestly don't care, but we're going to get to that more in the last point. But the reason I say no, and it's a very who cares no, is the NBA is a closed shop. Oddly, the same goes for EuroLeague, so should they call themselves European champions is a very good point. Um, but in a closed shop, I find it hard to be able to declare yourselves the absolute best in the world, even if there is no real argument, just to be clear, against you being the best in the world, purely because like, European teams can't play in it. And before you go, well, you but Real Madrid or, you know, the early champions, they wouldn't beat, you know, the NBA champions. They wouldn't beat the Nuggets right now, especially if both teams gave the roll, especially if it was a series. Uh, correct, but here's the problem. Um, and likewise, the BCL champions, Bonn, certainly wouldn't. Um, the problem is that there is no route for those teams, realistically, to get into the NBA. Like, you know, there would need to be a European division, there would need to be all sorts of stuff uh, to happen. Stuff which basically is out of the control of those clubs by and large, even allowing for crazy amounts of uh, fiscal changes in the global economy, which would be required for this to happen. Hello to all the beeping cars, by the way. We're in my hotel room. We're going to have some bad noise and lighting. You can tell the lighting's terrible. Look at my face. Uh, and in a closed shop, I'm not really wild about it. Like to me, an international champion is the true, as in a national team champion, is a true world champion. So like right now to me, the world champions of basketball are Spain. I expect that to change at this tournament, but at the same time, I uh, don't bet against Spain until they've lost in any tournament because they've uh, caught me out too many times. Uh, yeah, way too many times. Uh, and yes, USA, I know, you are so much stronger looking than Spain. And you're not the only team, I think, right now, by the way, that looks an awful lot stronger than Spain. Uh, but um, until Spain are gone, they're the world champions for me. So no, I don't think the NBA teams, the NBA champions, should call themselves world champions. Now we get to this final part. It doesn't matter. It, it, just, it just doesn't. This is as annoying to me, actually I would say as stupid to me, not as annoying, it isn't actually that annoying to me as the ghost debate online. Because if it was annoying, I wouldn't be doing this. Uh, actually I would, I've replied to things I find annoying in the past. But, bottom line is, you're the NBA champion, you cause it the world champion. Anybody who moans to you about it, are they worth your time? Nah. You're a fan of basketball outside of the NBA and of fans making weird noises, maybe. Do you, should it really change your life if an NBA player says, I'm a world champion? Nah. Nah. Like, who gives a hoot? Like, to me, winning an NBA championship, I don't care what you call it, you're the best. Winning a World Cup, you're the best internationally. Getting a room with uh, AC that isn't quite this loud? You're more practical for this video. But yeah, listen, folks, chill out. It happens. There's lots of weird reasons behind it, and there's no source of malice. So Noah Lyles, I get where you're coming from because athletics isn't a closed shop by any stretch, but um, you're the World 100 Meters Champion. That's a serious title. Why cheapen it by trying to compare yourself to another sport? Because uh, that's what you're doing. You know, Michael Johnson, probably the most media savvy as well as exciting um, runner that ever lived and I'm putting that actually well certainly the media savvy definitely not the exciting 
over Usain Bolt. Although Bolt's done pretty bloody smart for himself, hasn't he, when it comes to the media savvy part. But like, the two of them, actually, Michael Johnson and Usain Bolt. Do you think either of them is going to go, well, yeah, but look at that guy. They're not doing what I'm doing. No, they're talking about what they're doing. It's all about me and my greatness and what I'm doing. And I don't know where that Southern accent came in, but that's what it came about with. So yeah, like, listen, be yourself, enjoy yourself, celebrate yourself. No need to, you know, cheapen it by trying to compare yourself to KD, LeBron, or even Marc Gasol, who's a world champion. Yeah, I totally forgot to do an ending, didn't I? Uh, oops, so we're editing this in literally at the end of that. So, as always, if you haven't, please subscribe. We're gonna be doing videos with all the players and stuff from this. Like I said, I'm gonna have a video going up shortly about uh, me getting here. Uh, also gonna be doing a video at some point, uh, going to Javali, which is basically an institution of fast food here in Philippines. So listen, if you haven't, if you liked that, if you hated it, if you disagree with me, whatever, say something in the comments as well. Please subscribe and catch you next time.